Libra. Some smudge of some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. What would you like Libra to know or to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, if this is your first time tuning in, I do want to welcome you to the channel. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. I do look at your horoscope. I also look at the sun, the moose moon placement and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But I always do trust my intuition first and foremost. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Also, Libra, I do recommend that you trust your intuition. I think that the horoscope, um, the tarot, is a good place to practice using our intuition and really tapping in and tuning in and finding what is for us and what is not for us. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, if this is your first time tuning in, the layout of this reading, when we look at that top row, we will be looking at your public life, your professional life, um, how you generate money, how you use your finances. And the second row is your home life, your personal life, your private life. Um, husbands, wives, family, close friends, sometimes pets and neighbors show up there and the energy that's surrounding you there. And the third row is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway. Many times we will find that this third row helps us find clarity and brings the entire reading together. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, if you are looking for clarity or if you have a question, I do invite you to tune in to your live reading. Um, during that live reading, you will be able to ask questions and find clarity on uh, the topic of conversation, any cards on the table. And at the end of the reading, I do open it up for questions. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Queen of Wands, Trusting our instincts, trusting our guts, um, trust our intuition. You are being divinely protected at this time. And that is backed by a quick and sudden change. Things are moving quickly things changes are happening very quickly very rapidly and all of these changes that are happening are for growth and for your better good and if we look closer at that eight of wands we can see all of these wands all of these branches have growth all of these changes, all of these rapid changes are for growth. And spirit is asking you to trust. Div trust divine intervention at this time. There is divine intervention that is occurring in your life that is for growth. A lot of quick, rapid growth. And let's see how those cards play into the rest of your reading this week. We start off with the Five 
of Pentacles. A missed opportunity. Um, the closing of a door. Things were not as they appeared or things were not as they should have been. You know, we can obviously see people being left out of the cold. But if we look a li little closer, unaware of the help that is available. There is help available, and they're unaware. An ending. The ending of conflict. The ending of stress. This is the good ending. Um, if we look at the Nine of Swords that is right before the Ten of Swords in the Tarot, we see someone that is stuck or seemingly trapped in pain and agony. And so this Ten of Swords is the ending of that. The ending of the suffering, the ending of the pain. The Queen of Cups promises abundance it, 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 too much too much feelings too much emotions too much going on there's so much going on that we've kind of we've taken a step back we're taking a break it's just too much taking a break taking a time out we that's what we see there's too much we needed to step back. We needed to take a break. Needing to take a break, to think, to ponder, to sort out our thoughts and feelings. There is just, I'm surprised to see these cards, Libra. You've had some really good energy in your work life, in your public life. But it seems like you've hit an impasse or you've hit a wall and the wall that you have hit is emotionally driven and it's so emotionally driven that you need to take a step back I think by taking a step back by taking this time to think taking that time to ponder you're going to see where the help actually is. There's someone here, something here wanting to help you. When we keep our promises, people know that they can rely on us. When other people are cutting corners and other people are not showing up on time or they're not showing the respect that is needed or the respect that it deserves, it can make it difficult for us to keep our promises. You are being asked to demonstrate keeping promises, uh, building trust, and having a winning attitude. It's like when the, that's how we know a true champion. That's how we know a true warrior. When the deck, the cards are stacked against us, we keep our promises. We say what we're going to do. We show up when we say that we're going to show up. And the spotlight is on you, Libra. And your actions is what is going to determine whether this is a positive spotlight or a negative spotlight. You are really being put 
to the test at this time in your public life, in your professional life? Do not be surprised as bleak as this looks that there is you're being divinely led, you're being divinely protected. There is growth. There is positivity. This is all happening for your betterment. This is the test. Keep your promises. Just the simple act of keeping your promises is going to bring in a large bonus. Despite all of the chaos that may be surrounding you, Staying optimistic is the key here. You are being led. And, you know, sometimes when we're being divinely led, we're really divinely led through troubling times, through troubling waters, through the chaos. But that is ending. Those troubling times are ending. You're just about through this, Libra. Keep it up. There is a good positive reward for you at the end of this challenge. Followed by the devil card. Um, you could be working or you could have or be in a relationship or there's a Capricorn in your private life at this time. But the devil card really speaks or really demonstrates being tied, being connected to physical things, being tied, connected to worldly things. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Finding focus, staying focused, keeping to the plan. And love. And Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini in your personal life or your private life. Or love, building, working on love. Someone working with someone that loves you. And a tower moment. And a tower Again, we can go back to that Eight of Wands. A tower is a sudden or forced change. It's like we've been trapped in the tower, and the tower is the physical. We've been trapped by things. We've been trapped by possessions. We've been so caught up in the thought and the ideas of possessions that we've lost sight of the spiritual, that we lost sight of everything in life that really brings meaning, that really brings meaning to life. There is a person in your life that is helping you stay optimistic, that is helping you celebrate good news. And this good news has you focusing in on your future. It has you meeting new people. And this tower is like a weight being lifted off of your shoulders. This tower is causing room or creating room for new love, creating room for new friendships, 
And you're going to find that you are being divinely protected and source, universe, God is bringing in the people, new people in your life, new direction in your life that you are attracting the love that you deserve or this chaos here is creating room for the love that you deserve. You're attracting a new love or new love is coming in for you. I would suggest, Libra, that we slow down and that we savor the moment. When we find ourselves in a hurry to rush into love, that is when we rush into creating the same problems, creating the same drama that was in our past. Slow down, savor the moment. And then we have the two of swords, the something we're not seeing, the option that is available that we're not seeing. And again, there's an option. There's something available to you to help you on your path that you're not seeing. What you're not seeing is the teacher within. What you're not using is the teacher within. The King of Cups. Being emotionally, being spiritually isolated. And then I love that we end with the Ace of Cups, which is a spiritual emotional gift spiritual, emotional fulfillment. You, no one likes to be pushed around Libra. You are in a state of feeling like that we're being pushed around, that we're being talked around, that we don't have any choices, we don't have any options. There's so many things that are out of our control. And because there's so many things that are out of our control, we've isolated ourselves emotionally. So you may be surrounded by people, but we're isolated emotionally. We're isolated spiritually. And no one likes to be pushed around. You can politely say no. You can politely say, I'm not going to be pushed around. I'm not going to be manipulated. Stick to your guns and look within. You know, people will come to term to think, come People will come to terms with things in their lives in their own time. Your words and actions should not be the source of their happiness, and they should not be the source of their unhappiness. We are each responsible for ourselves and our own lives and our own happiness. The thing about happiness and unhappiness, it's something that we generate within ourselves and we cannot make other people happy. We cannot make other people unhappy, but we can share our happiness or we can share our unhappiness. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Libra. Thank you, Libra. You have a blessed week.